welcome to my unboxing video of this Renogy Smart Lithium Pro battery. It's a 100 amp, 12.8 volts. Uh, firstly, I'd like to thank Renogy for sending this to me um, to review. We'll open the box and see what it's packed like inside. Okay, what have we got inside? We've got a nice little pack here with instructions and other lots of things. Oh, we've got some. Yeah, we've got some nice Renogy stickers. A user manual, we'll go through that shortly. Let's see what's in there. An e warranty card as well. So we've got packed. Okay, here we've some top mounts for the battery and oh, it's well packed top marks are energy for packing making sure it wasn't getting damaged in transit. Yeah, it's a nice matte black finish. So, as you can see, it's a smart lithium iron phosphate pro. This has the um, self heater on here, it's 12.8 volt, 100 amp, uh, 1280 watt hours. Um, interesting bit here is the, the, the actual surge. So we get a 30 second surge here of 245 amp. Um, uh, real time monitoring through the DC home app, we'll go through the app shortly. Um, self heating function, to say, to, for colder environments. And as we're going to be using this in a van, that'll be really handy. 10 year lifespan. Okay. Okay, we'll just give this a quick volt test as well, straight out of the box. Um, got my little helper here so that I can film. And record at the same time, so yeah, 13.07. I'll give this a full charge once we've finished um, before we start doing any testing so we know exactly where we're at from, from the get-go. We'll have a quick look through the manual. So, very straightforward. Table of contents. There's an online QR scan there as well. Uh, that gives you an idea of what's in the box. Uh, two sets of terminal bolts, shorter and longer, depending on what, what you, you require. as well so although it doesn't come with a bracket to, to secure them they do have um, bolt holes on the bottom which is which is quite neat um, requirement on gauge sizes for your cables depending on, on what you're going to be doing oh, yeah that's the bracket assume it doesn't come with those and they are fixes through the bottom fairly straightforward enough These batteries can uh, can only be connected in parallel as well, not in series. Um, maximum of eight of these batteries to be connected. If that was your choice. Uh, again, just fairly basic. What to do is before we begin. If 
you've not already got the, the DC monitoring app, I have because I've already got um, energy system in my camper and um, the DC home uh, app controls everything that's that's going on in the battery uh, Bluetooth this battery has Bluetooth built in so make life a bit easier um, estimated state of charge just as a rule of thumb I suppose so if your battery currently is 13.6 you're a hundred percent so mine's appeared here at 13.07 so it's turned up at 70% uh, charge um, or thereabouts so it shouldn't over take overly long for us to to charge that self-heating function quite like the idea of this so normal operation of self-heating function requires a stable charge current greater than four amps okay um, just in case you've got plan to go anywhere in your camper it's really really cold that'd be a really good system Okay, battery's fully charged. Uh, now it's on to the testing. Um, I suppose the first thing I wanted to work on uh, was what type of test I wanted to do. I've watched and I've read uh, lots of different type of tests that are done on batteries. Uh, and they are, you know, how many amps and how many volts. And um, I get a bit lost and a bit bored with some of them really. So I thought I'd run some real life tests for van life. Um, so, you know, how long is my battery going to last when I'm running a, a diesel heater? A diesel heater is probably the heaviest um, amperage um, thing that we'll use in our van. You know, we have fridges, we have uh, diesel heaters, we've got lights, lights are fairly light. Um, but I know that we don't only use these things in our van, so I've got a 5 kilowatt all-in-one Chinese heater uh, in my garage, so I'm going to start with that one. Uh, so I'm going to run that for five, six, seven hours and see how long we've got left in the battery. And then I'll recharge the battery. I'm going to take it back out to my van. I've got a long wheelbase crafter, full camper conversion. I'm going to then plug it into there. I've got a two kilowatt heater in there. Um, I'll get my fridge on. Uh, I'll turn my lights on. And I'll run everything in there as I would on a camping trip over the same period of time you know whether that be five six seven or eight hours uh, and see how long um we get everything to run for and, and ultimately it's how long uh, we've got left remaining in the battery again before we would have to recharge it again unfortunately we can't do anything with solar it's december in the uk there is there's no sunlight um so i'm gonna have to charge it uh, off the mains uh, see how long it's going to take to to recharge once we've um, once we've taken the six or seven or eight hours worth of charge out of it. See where we're up to from there. Okay, so it's my five kilowatt heater in my garage. It's fairly standardish. I'm sure most of you have seen these before. Just made a quick connection to the battery. It'll run full boring here until I turn it off. This is a big garage. And we'll just power it up. So there you go. It's currently it's eight degrees in my garage. Okay, so we've been running for five, five and a half hours. Um, yeah, we've raised the temperature from eight degrees to twenty degrees. Audio is not going to be great, I'm afraid, because of the noise of the heater. But yeah, we're at 83%. It's not doing bad at all, really. Okay, so the heater's been on for eight hours. I've just turned it off, so it's just running a clear pattern. Um, there we go, it's off. Get it run the room up to, yeah, there you go, eight hours and two minutes. Yeah, 21 degrees it had managed to to get me up to 
and there we go. 75.3% remaining. Okay, so I've just plugged the, the battery onto charge. This is on a 15 amp charger. Um, as you can see, it's 75.5% remaining. Uh, we're putting 14.6 amp into the battery and it's telling me that it's going to be fully recharged in an hour and 47 minutes. That's brilliant. Right then, so uh, time to take the 250 amp AGM out of this and swap it for the lithium. Okay, so the huge grey and black lump behind is my current 250 amp AGM and it's been replaced by this half the size uh, new Renergy Lithium. So the AGM behind there is 57 kilos and this Renergy is 12 kilos, so quite a big difference. Okay, so I've had everything running in here now for almost eight hours. So I've had my fridge on, um, I've had my heater, I've had all of my lights on. Um, I've had an air freshener blowing. Um, I've tried to simulate as best I could uh, an average day camping. To be fair, it's not an average day. Um, I would never have, have had my heater on. Um, for that length of time, I mean, I've never been anywhere where it was cold enough for me to need to run a heater for eight hours. I've got it right down low at the moment because it was getting unbearable in here. Um, I've got the temperature down to about 18 degrees. Um, the, the, the amperage drawn out of the battery is a bit up and down at the moment, so it's between 3.7 and 1.9, so depending on when the compressor on the fridge kicks in and out. Fridge has been empty as well, so it's been working quite hard. There's nothing in there to help it along the way. It's at temperature now. Um, it's cold in there. Freezer's making ice, so as it would be. So heater's been on. I'll, I'll just shine you around the van quickly in a minute, but looking at um, the readings on my iPad off the app, I've got 88.1% left in the battery. Um, I started off with 106.46 amps. I've now got 93.68. Um, battery's currently 13.3 volts. Um, it's performed way better than I thought it would have, if I'm really honest. I didn't think I was going to get this kind of performance out of a 100 amp battery. Um, I'll give you a quick look around. So, as I said, I've had all the lights on. They are LEDs. They are low energy, but... Nonetheless, I've had everything running in here. Uh, my fridge has been on all day. It's cold. It's actually it's actually icy in the ice compartment, so has been running. Uh, and. We're at 88%, currently drawing 3.3 amps, I say it's been a bit up and down between one and a half and, and three and a half. Uh, it's performed better than I could have imagined. Okay, all the testing is complete. Um, I have to say I was a bit skeptical when I started this. I couldn't see how a 100 amp battery could outperform a 250 amp battery, um, but it did. In every test um, that I did, it outperformed it. Um, yeah, they're double the cost, um, but they're one fifth of the weight. And there's a 45 kilo difference between my current battery and this lithium. Um, weights, it's quite a valuable commodity for us in these vehicles. In, in our vans, the, um, most of them are a three and a half ton maximum weight. Um, I'm going to run some more tests through the 2024 camping season. 
see how we get along. I might even add another one of these batteries in parallel. Uh, double my amperage and see how I get along there. I'll report back. Uh, any questions, please leave a comment below. Uh, I hope you liked the video and that you thought it was helpful. Um, if it was, please give us a th thumbs up. Um, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.